So the other method we have access to as part of the JSON objects in JavaScript is stringify. Now this takes a real JavaScript object and converts it into a string, a JSON string, which we could then pass on to another application to go ahead and parse in its own way. So you'll only really need to use this method if you're wanting to store information that's already been captured in this session. So perhaps use an input, or you've gathered information, done something with it, and want to pass it back to the server for storing or something. So you could also use this to gather user settings and perhaps store it in a cookie, which could then easily be read using json.parse and applied as required. So let's take a look at how this works. We'll go ahead and use the same object example we saw initially. So let's recreate this object in this stringy.html file. So I'm going to go ahead and create a object like this. I'm going to go ahead and create a people property. This is going to store an array as we saw before. And within this array, we're going to have two records or objects, if you like. One with the name of Alex and another property online with the value of true. And a second object with the name of Billy and online false. Now all we need to do is use json.stringify to convert this. So let's store this in a variable that we can output in the console in a minute. So I'm going to create a variable called string and I'm going to call json.stringify and within this I'm going to go ahead and pass the object that I want to convert to a json string. So let's go ahead and console log this string value and take a look what happens. So you can now see that in my developer tools We've got a string with no white space, so it's nice and compact, ready to send perhaps via an HTTP request to our backend and store it where we want it to be processed. Now, because most backend languages have the ability to parse JSON, they could parse it, go ahead and store each record within here in a database or wherever required.